Nicole, tell us why you enjoy City of Hope or why it's important to support this event. I think it's important to support this event because it brings everybody in the furniture industry together on something that really affects all of us, whether you're mattress, whether you're furniture, whether you're the retail, whether you're the manufacturing side, everybody's been touched by cancer in some way, shape or form. And so they really can relate. So it's really about bringing people together for a good cause. I think any time you can give a great cause to uh, something like City of Hope and the industry rallies around that, it's a win-win for everybody. I mean, it's such a good cause and it means so much to those that are the recipients of what we do and as an industry, how we can change the lives of so many people. City of Hope is incredible. I did the tour um, two years ago and I was really impressed with everything that they're doing, all the research, talking to the doctors and all the incredible stuff that they're trying to figure out, which is very difficult. And so it's great that the furniture industry has partnered with uh, City of Hope to help them with the fundraising that they need in order to find the cause uh, and the cure, I mean, for some of these, you know, diabetes and cancer and whatnot. So it's a great cause. I think it's really cool that the industry has chosen the City of Hope. It's such a great cause and it's neat to get the industry together. And we all work hard to grow our businesses and do business, but it's neat that we also work hard to, you know, help save lives. And City of, City of Hope is great. I believe City of Hope's important because of not only their mission, but what they do to the industry, and they bring us together. The same way Furniture Today's mission is to bring the industry together and make us better, I think all coming onto the same boat and supporting a cause as noble as City of Hope um, and curing cancer, as uh, Chuck Riley said earlier in his speech, um, makes this a really important event to be at. Cancer or diabetes <clears throat> touches everybody's life. We're the oldest chapter that City of Hope has. We're 52 years old. We've raised over $53 million. And it's the charity of choice as a nonprofit health care. And everybody who's anybody gets involved because it's touched their hearts. And every dollar that's raised through City of Hope goes directly back into research. We're not funded by any pharmaceuticals. I've been involved for over 20 years. And we have the people who really care in this industry, and there are many of them. So I'm so glad you asked. Thank you.